In today's video, Charles Oliveira responds to people calling him a quitter. Nate Diaz claims he could easily choke out Charles Oliveira. Tony Ferguson breaks silence following UFC 274 loss. Conor McGregor goes off on Justin Gaethje and Ali Abdelaziz. Coach Teddy Atlas brutally criticizes the Rose Namajunas vs. Carla Esparza UFC 274 title fight. Let's roll. All right, let's get this show started. Speaking to UFC News following his impressive win over Justin Gaethje at UFC 274, Charles Oliveira responded to people saying he has the quit inside him and discussed whether he still feels like a champion, despite the fact that he has been stripped of the UFC lightweight title for missing weight by 0.5 pounds. Here's the clip. The challenge is there, yes, the script is that. I mean, I'm going to take the hits, yes, I'm going to take the hits, my arm's going to bounce back. And that's why it happens. I just keep proving myself and I keep proving that I'm going to keep pounding on. So they say many things. They say, well... Uh, this this guy quits well I, I go out there and I don't quit I keep pounding for and moving forward and keep pounding and pressing forward um, he, he's, he's gonna take hits uh, he can't knock people down I keep knocking people down um, there was a submission thing and now I am gone on this trick the streak of wins as well in this division the hardest division in the UFC I'm just gonna keep going out there and proving that I can do this and I'm gonna keep again pounding because uh, they are always gonna doubt me but I'm gonna just keep pressing forward and just doing what I do best. I came as a champion. I'm gonna leave as a champion. If I had lost on inside the octagon, whether because I lost a fight or it was a decision, maybe you could have changed your mind. But I came as a champion. I leave as a champion, and that mentality keeps going out there. On Saturday night, we saw Charles Oliveira take a huge leap forward once again in his UFC run as he submitted Justin Gaethje in the main event of UFC 274. Nate Diaz took the opportunity to give his thoughts on how he'd fare if given the opportunity to battle Du Bronx. He tweeted, Just for the record, I'd choke Oliveira easy. Diaz also took some shots at Hamza Chimaev and Conor McGregor by tweeting, Kamzitz and Conor are on the injured list, so I don't know why they're talking shit when they're broken. Shortly after, Michael Chandler issued the following response to Diaz. Hey Nate, shut up and stop complaining. Keep your mouth shut. Keep your head down until your daddy books a fight for you to get your sacrificial dome bounced off the canvas again. Maybe it'll be me, if you're lucky. See you at the top. What do you guys make of these comments from Nate Diaz? Do you think he would easily choke out Charles Oliveira? Let us know in the comments section. Tony Ferguson suffered his fourth consecutive defeat on Saturday night when he was caught by a picture-perfect front kick to the jaw from Michael Chandler in the second round of their fight at UFC 274. After the fight, Ferguson was transported to a local hospital and shortly after he was released with a negative CT scan, according to UFC officials. Ferguson made his first comments on the fight late Sunday night, posting a statement on social media that reflected a positive outlook. He congratulated Chandler on his highlight reel victory and said he's motivated to push forward and claimed he's just getting started. Here's the tweet. Congratulations to Michael Chandler on his victory at UFC 274. Had lots of fun in there. You fans are fucking wild. I love this shit. Feels good to be back in Hungary again. We were just getting started. Best of luck in your next fight, champ. Hashtag for the love of the game. Chandler replied by tweeting, If you don't love Tony Ferguson, you're not an MMA fan. Proud to compete against you, champ. CSO. At 38 years old, Ferguson is going on three years since he secured a victory. His four-fight losing skid has only come to elite competition. Despite the downturn, UFC President Dana White said post-fight at UFC 274 that Ferguson's position with the promotion is not in jeopardy. He also said he still sees Ferguson as one of the best at 155 pounds. What do you guys think should be next for Tony? Should he consider retirement or keep fighting? Leave your thoughts in the comments section.
Conor McGregor has mercilessly jibed at Justin Gaethje following the latter's first round submission loss to Charles Oliveira at the recently concluded UFC 274 pay-per-view event. The Irish fighter took to Twitter to tear into Gaethje as well as his manager, Ali Abdelaziz. He tweeted, Gaethje is a jackass. The amount of absolute dribble he speaks as well, over and over, a grade A jackass. A bird brain with a bird brain manager, two bum twats they are. He is a jackass. Steve-O crackhead in recovery, should see, can Johnny give him a part? Shortly after, manager Ali Abdelaziz fired back by writing, Justin, Khabib, Dustin, all bad, what about you? You are the biggest in combat sports history. You like a pr too. Good fighters fight with you to make money, and we all know who is your pimp. Legendary boxing coach Teddy Atlas has given his verdict on possibly the most boring fight in women's top-level MMA competition, and his opinion is no different than that of the masses. On Saturday night at UFC 274, Rose Namajunas and Carla Esparza entered a title rematch, and just like last time, Esparza took the victory. Unfortunately, it was done in a much less exciting way and possibly the least active fight seen in UFC history. Taking to his social media on Sunday, Teddy Atlas wrote this about the Esparza Namayunas fight. Esparza Namayunas had to leave this fight live to see Canelo, but I'm watching tape now. Namayunas ring walk saying to herself, I'm the best. Curious, is she believing or trying to convince herself? First two rounds, perhaps Rose sparring with ghosts of their first fight. Remember, 75% of this is mental. Too much respect shown by both women. Hard to believe Corner is satisfied. Rose worried about takedowns, Esparza worried about counters. Fans concerned it can't end fast enough. He continued with, Was warned about watching the tape on Rose Esparza. Not too many bad UFC fights. This is one. I've seen shadow boxing that was more competitive and exciting. Even if Rose thought she won, she lost any right to complain. Fighters take responsibility of what they do. Corners too. Seemed Roses was caught up showing off her boxing style. Here are the top three memes you guys posted on MMAMemes.com. In third place is a meme posted by user Rosie007. Second place goes to MMA Fuhrer. And the number one voted meme was posted by a user named Usman Desanya. If you want your meme to be included in our next video, go to MMAMemes.com and create your own meme. The top three memes will be placed at the end of our video. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel to keep up with the latest MMA news.